All right, how's it going? This is Shinobi123. I'm gonna show you some uh, keyboard shortcuts for Android G1. There are um, a lot of them. I forget most of them, but uh, I'll try to show you a few of them. Um, first, for typing, let's just type something uh, like hello. Okay, first thing you can do, you can hit menu, menu and A. Menu A is select all. Um, then from there you could hit, you could go menu X to cut, menu C to copy, and then once you do one of those two, you can do menu V to paste. So let's do menu X, cut, it's gone. Menu V, paste, keep, you can keep hitting menu V, menu V, 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 hold menu down. Um, another way to select text you can hold um, shift, the arrow on the corner that's pointing up. Hold shift and then move the trackball like to the left if the cursor is at the very end. You can select whatever text you want. Um, another thing you can do is if you want to go from one line, the beginning of the line to the end of the, of the line with the cursor, just hit alt. Right now my cursor is at the end. Hit alt and mo move the trackball to the left. And see now it's all the way over at the left hand side. So something you can do with that is you can hold, you can hit Alt, then Shift, and then move the trackball. You move the cursor of the trackball. If the cursor is at the left, move the trackball to the right. It selects everything. If you just move the trackball to the right and deselect it, you can try it again. Hit Alt, then Shift, and move the trackball. It selects everything. All right. One other thing you can do when it comes to um, typing and with text is um, I'm going to select everything, I'm going to hit Alt, then Shift, and scroll to the left to select everything. And then when something is selected, you can hold the trackball down. Hold the trackball down, and then it gives you the options. You can um, select all, cut, copy, paste. So right there, if you just want to cut it, it's gone. Um, hold the trackball down, and it gives you the option paste hold it again, gives me the options. I just want to say I want to paste again. See, I can keep on doing that. One other, th something else you can do is um, inserting special characters. Um, if you hit Alt and the space bar, you can get these different characters. You can choose them, just hit, you know, want the registration mark. There you go. Something else you can do is if you want to try to add like a tilde or something like that to the, a letter, all you have to do is like, say you want to add something to an E. Just hit the E key, but hold it down, and boom, you get all these uh, different selections, all these different options. There's a few of them. You can try different ones. Um, I know N does it. Hold N down. O. And A does it as well. You can hit Shift twice if you want to make everything all caps, and you can see at the bottom of the cursor there's a little arrow that pops up. And now, see, you know, when you do everything, it's just all capital letters and hit shift twice again to let, to undo it. Now everything's lowercase. Um, I'm just going to select all. Menu A and delete all this. I'm just going to hit delete. Um, another thing you can do is, let me see if I still have this. See, I still have the hello pasted on the copy board, or on the clipboard, I guess that you could call it. If you want to delete entire lines, you can hold option, or so you can hold alt at the bottom down here, alt. Let me see here, alt. Del alt and delete, hold it, hold on. there you go. Hold Alt and hit delete and it'll just delete an, an entire line. Alt, let's see here, what am I doing wrong? Alt and delete, there you go. Let's just get out of that. Um, once you are, once you pull up the little tab to get all the applications, you can just start typing the name of an application um, and it'll start, it'll just bring everything up. So say you want music, so you start typing M, and see it brings everything up that has an M. But if you keep typing the word M, you see it suddenly there's only one other one application that has those two letters in the beginning of music. So there you go. You can click on it, you can go to it. A few things you can do just from the home screen. For one, if you can start typing a name on the home screen, start typing a name, if it's in your contacts, it's gonna pop up. So you know if you have mom start typing M O M, it's gonna the contacts will pop up and there it is. Another thing you can do is just start start hitting one of these numbers, like say one eight hundred one 
800. See, once you start hitting one number, the dialer screen comes up. Um, another thing you can do from here is if you hold search, the little magnifying glass at the bottom, and then you can try different letters out, but holding search, like search P is music. Um, let's see. Search G. Whoops. Like search G is Gmail. Search M is maps. Um, so you try a bunch of them out. There's, uh, they all do different things. Search L is calendar. Also from this home screen, you can hold menu and hit different letters as well. Like menu P is um, settings. You can try different um, options out by holding menu and hitting different letters or holding search and hitting different letters. All right, I'm gonna do search B for browser and um, I'm gonna show you a few different shortcuts you can use here. One of them, um, let's go all the way to the top of the, the page. One thing you can do is if you hit sh uh, uh, the space bar, when you're on a page, it just takes you down to different pages, just a page at a time basically. Um, and then if you want to go back up, it, you hold shift and then hit the space bar and you go back up. Another thing you can do is if you want to go to down, down to the very bottom or very top of a page, if you hold alt and move the trackball down, it brings you all the way down to the bottom of the page or hold alt and, and trackball up, it brings you all the way up to the top of the page. Also on here, if you hold menu and you hit I, you can zoom in. If you hit menu and O, you can zoom out. So menu I, okay, again, menu I, zooms in. Menu O, menu O, zooms out. Also, there's a lot of programs, uh, you know, including like I'll show you right now in the browser, that will show you the shortcuts when you hit menu to bring this little menu up and then hit menu again, hold it, and then see it'll show you the shortcuts. Like menu L is go to URL. Menu B is bookmarks. You can hold menu T and that brings you to menu T brings you to tabs. So you can hold menu and hit different things. Um, like menu, let's go back here. Menu J brings you back. Menu K brings you forward. So you can hit menu and then go to more. And actually when you go to more you can see it shows you the it shows you the shortcuts on here as well for some of them. Okay, um, let me show you on in maps there's a few things you can do as well. So search and M from the home screen brings you to maps. Again you can zoom in, menu I or menu O zooms out. Menu and menu and zero brings you to the location you're at. I don't have the the GPS turned on right now, but if I did, it would bring me to it. Menu D. You can get you can type in directions that gives you the directions. Menu D. And menu M. That gives you the uh, different map modes, satellite traffic, street view. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, yeah, I know I left, I don't know all of them, I know I've left some out. So if there are some more you know that you wanna put up on the comments, um, feel free. And um, yeah, comment and uh, message if you have questions. This is Shinobi123, see ya.